notification that it's uh, officially started. <coughs> Alright, and welcome. This is uh, Nuk Marine presenting Let's Learn Japanese, a course series for the self-study of Japanese from basics and beginnings up there, and hopefully advanced. As usual, this is a Let's Read Japanese, so up above is going to be playing either audio of a... Uh, uh, either a video or audio of what I'll be reading. Off the side it's going to be the text or the uh, transcript of what I'll be uh, reading. So as the audio plays, I'll be reading along and pausing if I see a word I don't know and look it up in the uh, pop-up dictionary, in this case Yomi-chan. All right, about as simple as you can put it. Uh, this today is going to be Steins Gate Episode 3, and it's a 24-episode series. Now, this is an anime. It is based on a visual novel, and I've not read or used played the visual novel, so I don't know how that goes out. I heard it, like, is really good, so it may even be better than this anime. Um, but, yeah, uh, still, gotta go with, <laughs> go with what you got. And this is the easiest thing for me to access, so, yeah. The Let's Reads are kind of interesting in that I kind of find the books more fun, but because it's normally with the books, it's just one voice, then it can feel a little monotone, even though uh, there's a lot more variety in what's being, what you're hearing, because again, you're not you're not just hearing the spoken, but you're hearing what things that are generally written down, and that's uh, kind of entertaining. And also, when you do it with videos, and the problem is that there's a lot of stuff that's there's all that non-spoken stuff that if you're just listening to it, then that takes up a lot of time. Like you know, the background music's playing, or it's just long periods where they're just showing, um, you know, a montage of something going on. And again, that's just like there's no dialogue happening at that time, and that you know it kind of gets a little repetitive when you're you know listening to it, especially when you got the intro and outro songs that you can't really trim out too easily because they're at um, unusual points in time, like random points of time in the show. Um, for, again, just for example, that's if if you're doing like I do, where these whole let's reads make sure is that this is not the only thing I do for enjoying Japanese. So if I do this Let's Read, and let's say Steinscape, then what I can do, and I have done, is rip the audio and put it into my phone, and then that's played along with all the other audio that I've ripped. And again, that's just a um, passive immersion. So that's audio that could be playing all the time, and it's Japanese, so I can, it's passive when I'm not paying attention. And then if I stop and just try to concentrate on what I'm hearing, then it becomes active. And a, a, a term that was used is called oral snacking. <laughs> so it's just bits of audio that you can eat, um, eat up, you know, as you go along, and then throughout the day. Um, you know, I don't, I don't do that as much as I used to, uh, for reasons, but, you know, when it does, it is effective, especially if you use it with audio like this here, where I've, you've, you basically consumed it as, as much as you possibly can at your current level. It's like, what I've done here is like, so this is a lot of Japanese. If you're first starting out, most of Japanese, which you're, you're going to have to look up a lot of the stuff, so it takes you a long time to just go through one episode, but that's going to be a very powerful episode to listen to on repeat because there's going to be a lot of stuff that you, you're going to recall recently because it was something you recently had, you know, watched. Um, so that becomes, you'll find that your listening gets better if you just start off. Now, and that continues on, by the way. So I, you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest. You know, again, you're, if you do this, you will learn a lot of vocabulary. It's it, because of the lookups. If you just say, if you're just going to depend just on context, you're going to learn a lot slower. Because it's sometimes you just don't have to have time to catch up to the con. Like the context is there that could explain it. You know, you might need repetitive listenings, and that sometimes is difficult for the repetitive listenings if you weren't paying attention at the time. Um, and you know, for some people like myself, you know, concentrating watching something a second time. I'm not, I'm not the type of person who enjoys watching stuff a second time all that much. Um, or I don't try to do it. If it happens, if I set it up to do, where it happens without my say-so, then, it, then it's not so bad. Um, or if someone else picks up the show. But for the most part, me constantly re-watching something is not something I enjoy doing. So I, maybe that's why I don't think get the benefits of you know the type of immersion some people were getting. Because maybe they were re-watching stuff. I don't know. But just from personal experience, what I'm doing now is working. Um, I can't demonstrate it, you know, <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, you know, it, it, I guess it doesn't make. I guess it's uh, kind of easy to understand. I mean, it's just like, hey, I'm reading and I'm listening, all right. And I see something I don't know, I look it up. So now I've learned something, all right. I'll probably quickly forget it, maybe, or maybe it, you know, hey, it sticks. You know, the, the stuff that sticks, 
that builds up over time. If that, so there you go. I mean, it is kind of studying it, but it's not a, a, re, a spaced repetition or a structured repetition system that Anki brings to the table, which could ensure that if you do forget it, you're going to then, it's going to try to do its thing to help you memorize it. Um, so there's that. So that's, that's why I, I do use both. So, you know, but I'm finding this is, first it's beneficial because it's fun. So if you're enjoying doing it, you're going to do it more. So, you know, if I, I could do this every day, I think what the, the, the lack of fun is me setting up this live stream because this takes a lot of, it's not a lot of effort, but I got to really make sure I've set aside the time of the day to, you know, do this broadcast for the, you know, two, two or so hours that it's going to be happening and then make sure I've got all the videos set up and I've put the, you know, edited such things so, you know, nothing gets um, revealed that, you know, endangers the, the YouTube channel or whatnot or the Twitch stream that I'm doing. But beyond that, it's just, uh, but it is fun when I'm doing it and I have a lot of fun. I just, um, I'm not doing it as much as I could be doing it. So, yeah, so by, the benefit of doing it as a live stream is that I am doing it every day. Whereas I found if I wasn't doing the live stream, I probably wasn't doing it every day. So that's, um, that's a problem with my my personality. Uh, that's not a problem with the method. The method itself works. You don't have to do a live stream for this method to work. It just hey, press play. Here's the rips of the subtitles, or if you got a transcript, read that. Or if you got a book, read that. But yeah, just play it, read it, pause to look up stuff, and, you know, and just have fun throughout the day. Um, you don't have to. You, whatever you choose works. So if you enjoy reading the news every day, do that. If you enjoy reading audiobooks, do that. If it's TV shows, do that. If it's visual novels, definitely. That's the same idea. Yeah, it's just um, read the audio. Read the audio. And um, I think you'll find your, even if you never touch Anki, you, as long as you're doing the lookups, um, you're going to get better. And the lookups can be, when you first start off, with, a, with an English to Japanese translation or with the dictionary. I call it, okay, might as well call it English-Japanese Dictionary, sure. Translation maybe gives it, a, even though it's more of like a translation, because you're not defining the words, you're saying, hey, here's what this word is in the other language. That's a translation. Um, whereas a dictionary, Japanese dictionary, will tell you what the word means. So that's uh, better. And as you get better, when you get to a certain level, then you will probably want to switch to a Japanese dictionary, because it's a bit more fun and more precise, especially for um, certain phrases. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I've talked enough on that, I, and again, I do this. I, I do this every day. I've, I've repeated this uh, this whole spiel plenty of times in different variances. Uh, with that said, let's get with the news. Um, we're at eight minutes in, so to about the thirty minute mark, I'll be doing the news, and um, after that, I'll be starting Stein Gates. I'll try to do two episodes today. Then, um, if there's time under two hours, then I'll do some Anki reviews. But most likely, I'll be over two hours by then, so I won't bother with Anki uh, for the live stream. All right, if you got any comments or questions, feel free to make it. Let's make sure, is that where it's supposed to be? Yeah, that's where it's supposed to be. Cool. Okay, so let's see what we got. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Wife and child. Also, okay, that, okay. Without warning. Oh, no, okay. So it was recorded. The lo Okay, the loss of the child was recorded on a video. Okay, this might be a kind of a downer of a story. Let's see what we got. The from a small part to beginning and end. Chu, Chu, Bushiju. Cold Sock Doro, ni, Hiza, o, tsui, te, nak, dan, se. Tai, ha, shita, kurma, no, soba, ni, wa, tsuma, to, musko, no, itai, ga, yoko, ta, e, te, ari, mas. 事故は先月、中国の山西省で起きました。地元当局によりますと
トーク曲地元トーク曲によりますと当時男性は家族を車に乗せてドライブをしながらその様子をインターネットで生中継していました生中継、うん、携帯電話には男性が中継の BGM を変えようとして前に止まっていたトラックに気づかずに追突するまでの様子が録画されていました衝突の直前には事故多発エリアですと呼びかけるカーナビの警告も流れていました Say, we're in China? Okay.、Uh, okay, let's try that one. Okay, yeah, so this is like the. about the. Chinese and Indian、um, groups getting him to fight Chinese government and some Somali groups. I'm assuming that's the story. 中国軍との衝突で死傷者が出たインドで反中感情が高まっていることについて中国政府は全ての責任はインド側にあると主張しました。インドでは中国軍との衝突で兵士20人が死亡したことを受けて各地で中国製品のボイコットや抗議活動が相次いでいます。中国の外務省は会見で軍の衝突に関する全ての責任はインド側にあると強調しましたまた中国はインドとの関係を重視していると述べ一方でインド側の歩み寄りを期待すると注文をつけました中国軍にも死傷者が出ていますが中国政府は詳細を明らかにしておらず Yeah, it's been on US news as well.、Uh, let's see what else we got. Okay, what's happening in Chiba? シバシナナゲクシバシナゲクシバシナゲクシバシナゲクでキネキネゲスケープヒキニゲヤオケヒキニゲゴハキャンナニートショートツショートツのショーカーマ
All right, cool. Well, all right, it's hit and run. Let's hopefully, let's see if anybody got hurt. Okay, you read the first part. Okay. Oh, oh, God, I remember this one. Okay, yeah, this guy got sideswiped and his head hit the pole. I remember that video. Okay. ロソクタイ。ロソクタイに。交差点付近の路側帯を自転車で走っていた男性を乗用車が跳ね、そのまま逃走した瞬間を捉えた防犯カメラ映像です。警察は車を運転していた千葉県八千代市に住む八千代市に代々木八千代市に自称無職の Maybe that's his name. Um, I've got to hear it. Um, Yugisha. 過失運転障害などの疑いで逮捕し過失過失運転運転障害過失運転障害など昨日送検しました跳ねられた男性は頭を強く打つ重傷で病院に搬送されましたが意識はあるということです。Okay, good. So he gained consciousness. That was a bad hit. That looked nasty when it happened. ユザワ容疑者は。ユザワ。ひき逃げについては認識がありませんと容疑を否認していますが、警察は防犯カメラの映像を解析するなどして経緯を詳しく調べています。経緯。Yeah, it usually ends with that, like they're still investigating it. Um, Kodokara podcast. I don't think so. Oh, wait, wait, sorry, wait. Somebody, there was a conversation going on. Do I need a VPN to watch videos? Um, with this link, like to this one, I, some of them are blocked outside of Japan. Some are. Uh, so if you go to Yahoo dot, or the headlines at yahoo.co.jp, uh, go to the news, sorry. And um, yeah, some of them will be blocked outside Japan. That is true. So you would need a VPN for that part. But for the others that aren't blocked yet, it's no problem. Uh, I guess it depends on which of the networks it is that they came from. Um, uh, do I live in Chiba? No, I live in uh, 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 Kanagawa Prefecture. All right, cool. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, let's go. All right, so what we got next? SNS. It's eh, a short one. And yeah, sure, why not? Okay, yummy bite. Yummy bite. Oh, dark. Uh, dark job. Okay, Kyoto. Uh, Kyoto. Okay, so six people arrested. All right. This is. Taiho 
スウェッターで闇バイトを探した。<laughs> so this is like if you ever watched the recent、uh, Westworld, the,、uh, the, what was it, the,、uh, Bart, uh, the, uh, the one application. Okay,、um, what is this? Kyo Chu.、Uh, Kyo Chu. Kyo Chu Shiru Yobi Shop. Okay, let's see what they got to say. 逮捕されたのは東京・北区の無職戸口大輔容疑者と19歳の少年4人など合わせて6人で今年2月宇都宮市の住宅に侵入し居合わせた住人の知人の男性を縛り居合わせた。居合わせた。OK。住人、知人の男性。OK、タイルマップ。車や現金、犬など、総額250万円相当を奪っ The dog too? 総額。Uh, 全部を。OK、oh, so it's a total of about $25,000.、Uh, well, about $25,000. They stole his dog? <laughs> okay. Mok he stayed to Toguchi Ogisha Igai wa Yogi o Mitome. Okay, silent,、uh, kept silent, secret, yeah, non disclosure. Mok he stayed to Toguchi, Toguchi, Toguchi Ogisha Igai wa. ツイッターで闇バイトを探したと供述している容疑者もいるということです。警察は他にも指示役など数人が事件に関わっているとみて、捜査しています。Yeah, Kota Kata. Yeah, if you got a podcast, I don't mind that. Like I said, I mean, this is all for fun. As long as you, yeah. As long as it's not spammed, I don't care. Yeah, most, most of my role is don't be a dick about it. It's all good. <laughs> He stole his dog. <laughs> okay.、Mm. I, how am I forgetting that crime app? It was like,、uh, it was in Westworld 3, but it was like, you know, basically it's like, A little application to find like jobs that are you know illegal jobs and get paid for it. And, all right, I feel silly for forgetting it because it was a I, I enjoyed the season, it was kind of a silly season, but I enjoyed it.、Um, yeah, let's go with this one. Okay, let's see. Did you look at it? I'm s h e s Did you look at it? Oh. Really? Oh, okay. This is not good. Okay, so it looks like、uh, basically abuse of school children by this 40 year old woman. Okay. Alright, so this might, again, so this might be a little darker story. So you've been warned. Oh, let's see from the start. はい、男子中学生を自宅に招き入れ、見られなく、公用した,したとして40歳の女が逮捕されました。女の自,自宅は以前から、近所の少年たちのたまり、たまり場、たまり場、たまり場、たまり場、たまり場、たまり場になっていたということです。逮捕されたのは横浜市の会社員横浜、okay. 北条真帆容疑者で北条北条真帆北条真帆容疑者でおとといの朝
自宅で中学3年の男子生徒にみだらな行為をした疑いが持たれています警察によりますと北条容疑者の自宅は数人の少年が出入りするたまり場となっていて近所の人から相談を受けた警察が以前北条容疑者を注意していました男子生徒は警察に対しいつも遊びに行っていると話しているということですが北条容疑者は容疑を認めた上で男子生徒のことを可愛いと思った顔も性格も好きでお気に入りでした恋愛感情はありませんなどと供述しているということです Okay, what else we got? Yeah, let's try this one. Yeah. What do we got here? What, what happened with $10,000? Baishun. Is that like a. Yeah, okay, yeah, prostitution. <laughs> I like how. It, <laughs> I think it was in Gok Sen or something. I forgot what to show, but they called it compensated dating. <laughs> so instead of prostitution. Um, so, anyway. Baishun. Baishun sase yakuma yen. Ju. Ju ryo. Ju ryo ka. Kosei. Okay. Alright, so she had a 16 year old prostitute, but the 40 year old、uh, client was arrested. Alright, let's see what we got. But at least he's being safe, you know, keeping the protected from the coronavirus. Okay. 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 So it's like a Um, children's welfare law? Child welfare law. Yeah, okay, yeah. Jido Fukushiho, Jido Fukushiho, Ihan, Ihan, no, the guy, Taiho, Saret, Saretanoa, Tokyo, Nerimaku, no, Jisho, Nerimaku, Tokyo, Nerimaku, no, Jisho, Do, Moto, Stylist, Kumamoto, Kiyoaki, Yogisha, this. Kumamoto, Kiyoaki, Kiyoaki. 熊本清明容疑者です熊本容疑者は去年4月と5月交際していた当時16歳の少女が18歳未満と知りながら新宿区歌舞伎町のホテルなどで30代の男性会社員を相手にみだらな行為をさせた疑いが持たれています。警視庁によりますと熊本容疑者は1年3か月にわたり SNS で男性客を募集して少女に十数人を相手に売春させ現金100万円以上を受け取っていたとみられています。取り調べに対して容疑を認め、金はパチンコや生活費に使ったと供述しているということです。
I mean, I'm trying to see if it's like he was the pimp or the client. Um, Sasita. Yeah, I think that's why. Okay. But Yakumayan, um, that's, you know, that's basically $10,000. He was saying he gained it from, okay, yeah, so he was the pimp because he's trying to claim, like, he, he got this, let's see, Nis got the, was using it for <laughs> drinking and gambling. Okay. Uh, what else we got? What is time now? It's 30 minutes. All right, cool. And that's about it. Yeah, and this is the uh, fun part. Again, I think it's kind of interesting if you just take about 30 minutes to an hour a day. When you get to that level, again, when you, when you get to about 4,000, you can do it a, a little lower, like 2,000 words. It's just, again, it's going to be the, the less vocabulary you have, the more difficult it is to do stuff like this because you're fighting the, again, you're fighting every word as opposed to, you know, every, every other few words. The, but it is doable. And it is, it can be enjoyable. Now, some people start off with what's called NHK Easy. I never was a fan, just, but it, you know, it, it is, it is, but again, it's news meant for, it's been kind of tailored to children. So that makes it, it's more likely easier to follow. And they're not going to be really dark stories like, you know, I don't think they're going to have a, a bit about prostitution in there or whatnot, or, or about the, uh, you know, the lady who was uh, molesting children. Well, okay, she wasn't molesting, but maybe doing obscene acts with children. The, uh, you know, or the death of him. So you're probably just going to see some a bit more uh, brighter stories on there. I don't know. I haven't done EHP easy for a long time now. Um, you know, but if you start with that, and then, but, you know, don't be afraid to graduate to stuff like this. And this isn't really, like, print news, so you could do this with print news. I just, I like it that I'm following along with audio. I like reading the audio, so that's why I'm, I recommend this. And it's not that difficult, especially if you have access to these videos. Some of them will be blocked. Because if outside Japan, there's nothing I can do about that. You can get around it via VPN, so there is that option. But yeah, this is, you know, to spend about a 30 minutes to an hour. Some of it's world news, some of it's local news in Japan. Um, you can skip the local news if you don't think that's relevant or whatnot, or keep it, you know, because some of the stuff you're going to see there, you may, may pop up on some of the dramas or anime that you watch. So there is that. And it's fun. I, I, I actually do enjoy this a little bit of, you know, this little bit before I do my whole let's read of, you know, the part where I'm just reading through the news. Um, okay, so with that said, let's get started. Alright, and, yeah, so the first thing you're going to see when the video starts are breasts. So, yeah, but, again, that's how episode 3 starts off. So there, And it's not, like, breasts as in nude, I mean, just that it, she's in a shirt. But it's the first thing that's being focused on. Uh, risk raifu for waifu. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm using Yomi Chan, so just do a search for Yomi Chan and or MIA and Yomi Chan, and you should see a video that'll pop up that uh, by Matt vs Japan that explains how to get it installed and how to get the dictionaries for it installed. And yeah, it works out great. I it's definitely a, a dictionary. It, I, I definitely recommend it. It makes things easier. Don't, I don't care about the audio part of it. You could, there is like a, a plug-in port, like you can, I think you press on one of these where it can actually show audio, but yeah. All right, let's go down to episode three. Why wasn't I already there? Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Makise. Chris. Makise. Chris. の、なぜここ橋田さんに聞いてきたんです。ラボラトリーっていうから。もう少しちゃんとしたところかと思ったんです。誰?まさか裏切ったのか。この三次元女の色化にまどわされ。All <笑><笑> <laughs> uh, okay, sorry. 
この状況に混乱していると思われ緊急事態だ機関がついにここまでエージェントを送り込んできた何これもシュタインズゲートの選択だというのかシュタインズゲートオカリンの脳内設定と脳内設定うんメントコネクション脳内設定特に意味はない、うん、でしょうねドイツ語と英語が混在してるし混在靴を脱げあ,あ、失礼ずっとアメリカだったもので<笑> yeah, that's true. Okay, I can buy that. No. 改めましてマキセクリスです<笑>握手もできないの日本の男の人って常識が足りてないじゃない<笑>ビビりすぎミニマトビビりすぎシェイキンビビリさっきが半端ないからなこれが半端ないからな半端ない半端ないからな俗に言うマーシャルアーツかあ<笑>どこへ行く本当は私が刺されたのを見たというのが事実なのかセクハラ行為の言い訳なのかそのか確認をしたくて来たんですけどそれよりも、うん、OK let's go to 303アマネアマネスズスズウハアマネスズウハケツゴブニソンショーナイケツゴブトリックではないよね。物を仕掛ける可能性がある監視の目を緩めるなないっちゅうのピンセットないないそうのなピンセット小さなものがピンセットピンセットピントピンセットピンセットないかはグズグズねうん、星はあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあ変態のバナナなんて食べるもんですかってもう一度お願いできるできたら悔しそうな顔で悔しそうなうん<笑>何を赤くなっているもしかして何か想像したのか言ってみろ天才少女天才が何を想像したのかご公説願おうではないか<笑>どうやらあなたたち二人とも変態みたいねいや褒めてないむしろ変態な想像した方が変態だろう<笑>変態天才少女よ誰が変態よオーケー正直セクハラですぐに訴えてもいいレベルだけど今は不問にしておくわ今あはだから詳しく教えてこのバナナそのレンジと関係があるのよねトップシークレットだ
ミライガジェット8号機テーマレンジカッコカリは我が研究所の秘密兵器だからな。でも、マキセシならこのヘンテコの機能について解明してくれるかもよ。うんしかし、つーか僕らだけじゃ絶対解明できないと思われ。だが、あくまでこれは未来ガジェット研究所の。ふふふ。クリスティーナとか言ったな。一言も言っとらんわ。この電話レンジ、かっこ彼の秘密を知るには条件がある。人を打つ。貴様には、この未来ガジェット研究所のラボ面になってもらう。研究所のメンバーに迎えてくれる。ってこと、うん、でも私8月中にアメリカに帰る予定だけどそれまでで構わんそれともう一つまだあるの俺が貴様に行ったセクハラ行為をすべて不問にしろ<笑>以上だオカリンちっちぇ人としての器がちっちぇすそこにしびれる憧れるうるさいどうだ悪くない条件だと思うがなあんたにとってでしょまったくノルアドレナリンが過剰分泌するわねノルアドレナノルアドレナリンノルアドレナリンさあどうするクリスティーナだからティーナってつけるな悪かったなザゾンビよちゃんと呼べ法王院変態狂魔、うん、黙れ天才変態少女<笑><笑>変態同士の視察戦燃える黙れ,黙れ視察戦スターリングコンテスト仕方ないわね分かったわ条件を飲むだからもう変態禁止私も変態扱いしないからいいだろうではたった今から貴様はラボメンナンバー004くれさってーなだティーナも禁止ジューシーから揚げナンバーワンワンただいま結論ありきで考えるのは危険よならば何だと結論ありきで,きで言うんだ少なくともバナナの房や冷凍唐揚げの時はテレポートし邪魔してますマキセクリスですいきなり押しかけてきてごめんなさいシーナマユリですなんか私もラボメンになったみたいでラボメンえええ、女の子のラボメンだー<笑>そそんなに珍しいのうんうんうんマユシー以外では初めての女の子のラボメンですそうなんだよろしくねえよろしくなんだと何放電現象が起きていたらしい,いえなんで先に言わないのよ具体的な状況を教えてえうーんとだからレンジから稲妻みたいなのが出ていつの話だ昨日の昼だったかなオカリンが人工衛星が墜落したニュース見て飛び
出していって自分の携帯こいつにつないで<笑>じゃああのメールを送った時お前の携帯は電話レンジカッコ仮に繋がっていたんだなモキセシが刺されたとかいうメールあれ一週間前じゃん違うあれは昨日の昼に<笑>どこだどこだなぜない放電が起きた時のレンジの状態は動作テストしてたから逆回転機能使用中だったかなああ、いや、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、助手、俺の携帯にメールをいつからあんたの助手になったつーかあんたのアドレスなんて知らないし使えない助手名なるお前の携帯でいい文面はそう文面サブジェクト文章や手紙に書かれているうんサブジェクトコンテンツああ We lost connection to chat. そうだなクリスティーナは変態で変態禁止って言っただろうじゃあ間取ってオカリンは変態と<笑>もう橋田さん<笑>グッジョブじゃあ送信するよ<笑>あとは携帯にメールがそろそろいいんじゃないかなあのあっすんまねえっ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>大丈夫か関係関係関係関係関係関係どういうこと電磁波の力かバカ言わないで電子レンジの電磁波がこんな短時間で机割るなんてありえないなあコロッコゲだせっかく買ってきたのに床の穴どうするブラウン氏に見つかったらシャレで済まないレベル<笑>7月24日17時半間違いない過去に<笑>何か分かったのああ全てがつながった見えたぞ一連の事件が意味する唯一無二の答えがからちぎられたバナナはふさえと戻ったメールは5日前へと送られたそんなまさかそのまさかだこの電話レンジカッコ仮は<笑>タイムマシンだ13件先行のあ,あそうだったシャイニングフィンガーと名付けたんだったしっかりしこの量すぐメールしてもしかして寝てるのいつまで寝てるつもりだるうん、はあ、散歩でも行くか
どうしたダメージでかいよ徹夜で成果ゼロなんて Try reset this real quick. Did I lose? What? That's not good. Try something real quick. So I lost all the previous chats. So if you chatted previously, it just said the uh, chat wasn't connecting up, so it reset it. But that also means I lost the uh, previous chats. So I will. Life goes on. Let's keep going. やったこと後悔している。なんでゲルバナにならなくなったんだ。知るかメールを送れたのはあれ一回きりだしなマキセシ呼び戻した方がいいんじゃねえ無理に決まっているだろうがウソタイムマシーンなんて<笑>って出て行ったきりなんだからな何だったんだろうんなんだこれは LHC はあラージハドロンコライダーセルの素粒子加速器素粒子か、素粒子か、そこき。素粒子か、素粒、素粒子か、そこき。癒されるよね。癒されるよね。タイムマシンはセルによって独占されています。ジョン、タイト。おおこの前言ってたやつ今アットチャンネルで祭りみたいだねセルンとは何だおおタイターは言っていたセルンが2034年までにタイムマシンを完成させると意味不なんですけどいいから教えろあセルンとおだから欧州素粒子原子核研究機構の略称ほんジュネーブ。ジュネーブ,ネーブ通りメインは素粒子物理学の研究素粒子物,物理学,素粒子物理学そのための世界的な設備をいくつも持っている低速汎用子リング用紙シンクロトロンブースター大型電子溶電コライダーでラスボスは世界一の素粒子加速器ラージハドロンコライダータン LHC は
使い方次第でミニブラックホールができるかもって噂もあったけどね。ブラックホール誰なんぞ確かタイムトラベルを実現させる方法の一つにミニブラックホールを使ったものがあったよなあああるけどこの前も、okay, like、one, like Based on angstrom wide, and then you create essentially a, a mini black hole that way. And it's just a, it's mini, as in it's the size of two large, no, six large aircraft carriers. So, you know, about the,、um, what is that, 600,000 tons? So, 600, so think about 500,000 tons of matter, you know, into the space of a, of a you know, I can't even speak that size, in the space of a proton. That's Um, kind of cool, and that because of the Hawking's radiation, is that, that that'll last, they'll be putting out energy for about five years because by then it'll decay after five years. So it's pretty good, and you can create like what are called、uh, black hole engines from that.、Um, a mini black hole that size that they're talking about, it wouldn't even last. I mean, it would just decay like instantly. You, you, I mean, you couldn't put the, you know, you're put, putting the amount of mass of,、um, you know, a few atoms into, you know, a black hole、um, shape. Yeah, again, it's just going to disappear instantly. I mean, it, effectively, instantly.、Uh, don't know how much time travel we can get from that if there's. Access is a cogi de. It does show. So, 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 だってだが LHC がある以上作られる可能性はいやねえよセルンが公式に否定してるしかし火のないところに煙は立たないとも言う俺だそうだ分かっているヘル携帯検知エミシーズンのセルフォン OK that's the joke I guess プサイコングル But、oh、never mind, I take that back because his cell phone's always turned off. So maybe he's not actually using it, he's just pretending to use it. I was that it to the top. Cut the runda. Oh, not the usual. Or it's no yarbeki koto a hitots. Fairy stand no toro ni koto. Oh, my was super haka daro. Sweet or couldn't ni ari to wara e. Haka janakte haka na. Haka janakte haka na. Haka janakte haka na. あとはわかるな。いいえ、全然。セルンをハッキングしろ。以上だ。オカリン、ギャグだよな。やつらの悪事を暴き、タイムマシンについてのヒントを手に入れろ。電話レンジカッコ借りよう。タイムマシンとして使えるようにするか。このままラボの倉庫で眠らせることになるか。お前の腕にかかっている。どうなっても知らないよ。牛丼二人前え合わせて八百円おかわりー<笑>またサボりかあ、うんうんだってお店退屈なんだもんすることなくてそれではまるで自転車やだなねえねえそれより君たちって二階で何してるの未来ガジェット研究所って言うんでしょなぜその名前をあ。そこまで知られたからには仕方あるまい我々は世界を影から操る、oh, okay. 闇の機関と戦っているのだ今もちょうど機関にハッキングを仕掛けているところでなあ,あじゃあもしかしてセルンっていうのはその闇の機関のこと<笑><笑>なぜそれをごめん実は話し声聞こえてきちゃってさほら退屈って言ったでしょだからつい盗み聞きしたというのか聞こえてくるんだもんでも安心してこれでも口は硬いからま,またか何死亡通知でも来た死亡通
ちあいやあ冗談冗談 IBN5100 とかいうレトロパソコンにやたら執着している女がいてな IBN? トレモキーテイタノカチガウチガウソレワネットデミタンダーほらタイムトラベラーとかいう人ジョンタイターだっけタイターなんかアットチャンネルに書いてたよ IBN5100 はベーシック言語 Alright and so I'm guessing they're calling it at channel because the at marks the one above the two so instead of two chan at chan I'm guessing so、um, I wouldn't have guessed that at the at the mark はできる以前に作られたパソコンだから IBN の独自のプログラム言語も読めるとかなんとか本当かうんそういえば2000年に現れたタイタンも<笑>皆さんは時間の概念についてたった一つの川が流れているようなものではありません例えば私が過去へ戻って A という人物を殺したとしますするとダ,ダイバージェンスと呼ばれる数値に変動が起こり世界ダイバージェンスダイバージェンスするとダイバージェンスを呼ぶ。対戦は A という人物のいない世界へ移動するのです。世界線移動の時、人々の記憶は再構築されます。つまり A という人物がいた以前の世界線の記憶は消去され、新たにできた。A という人物がいない世界線の記憶が再構築されるのですそれより Is that like a Dragon Ball Z thing? I don't know. I haven't watched it. The、uh, Dragon Ball Z thing was the one that 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 was the one について前から質問しているわけだがセルンの言うことを安易に信じてはいけませんすでにアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニーニアニー
Usually that's what you recognize outside the, uh, <clears throat> um, you might say, Dystopia, Kyosan Shugi. That's the principle of life, or your living principle of communism. Kyosan Shugi. Kyosan Shugi ga. ガスレベルが18世紀に戻ったといえばわかりやすいでしょうか。2036年では科学技術のほとんどセルが握っているのです。セルンの企みを防ぐには、IBN5100の機能が必要なのです。2000年に現れた状態ターンも、確かそんなことを言っていた。10年前に現れた私ですか。前にも言ったように、残念ながら私は2000年には行っていません。が、あなたは他の世界
よし交渉成立だじゃあ眉シーの牛すじあれもういただいたえー、いつの間にあ、うん、なかなかうまかったぞ<笑>来たー来た来た来た来た来たほら観念して俺の前に全部さらしやがれってのさらしやがれって来たあいでゲットやったのかミッションコンプリート<笑>すごいねよくわかんないけど。Of course, most hacking is social engineering, just finding out from a person what, what their access is and then using that. But yeah. It does make for a compelling TV, I guess. まあ、ハッキングしたっつっても、管理者の ID じゃなければ見られる範囲は限られるっつうか、おっぱい。Okay, okay. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe that's how he did it. He、uh, socially engineered from over the net. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe that's how he did it. He、uh, なめんどいことしてられねっつの。訳すると、はい、ポール。そういう演技は無用だ。さいですか。えっと、LHC の調子は良好だ。こいつはあくまで猫みたいに気まぐれだが、ここ1ヶ月は驚くほど調子がいい。何のことだそうそれよりタイムマシンの痕跡のような文章はないのかタイムマシンって単語はないけど Z プログラムって単語がここ1ヶ月で100回以上使われているえっと第137次 Z プログラム実験レポートミニブラックホール生成ミッションはすでに確立して Interesting. ているため報告は省くミニブラックホールみたいだね公式には実験を成功していないって発表されてるのになその先は実験結果ヒューマンイズデッド,デッドミスマッチヒューマンイズデッドうん人が。Waxing nostalgically about the uh, <laughs> um, uh, black hole engines and stuff.、Um, yeah, for usually for time travel, black hole, because you know, this sounds all special because you hear black hole, s like, oh, it's got to be something awesome.、Um, it's, but it's just such a small region of space. Like, again, if you have a, <laughs> you gotta realize, like, it's just, it's probably where causality may break down because, again, just that.、Um, You've essentially got it to where 
causality is like essentially a transmission of information. So there's the speed of causality instead of the speed of light. I guess that's the idea. So how, how, you know, basically you see stuff in the universe. So I mean, you could say like, um, you know, you, you kind of question it. Like when you look, are you seeing the stars where they were 40 bit? No, it's like well, it doesn't really. You can't really think of it like that. It's like where the stars were 40,000 years ago or 100,000 years ago. It's like when you look at the sky, you see the stars where they are as far as you're concerned. Because, uh, again, because of how causality works. Um, so you got to kind of calculate based on those ideas, not where it will be, but where it is, as far as from your perspective. So um, I don't know if that's, how, if that's a good way of thinking about it. Because again, I'm not a physicist. I'm nowhere close. To, uh, so I just go off like all the, the goofy stuff that I read about in the occasional videos. So it's just fun to, to think about uh, on a little scale, not the scale to where you know these guys are, uh, or the real scientists are figuring out shit. The um, you know just something like because you always wonder like how fast does gravity travel? Like if the sun moved, you know, let's say. 100,000 miles to the left, you know, how long till the earth feels in the air, and the answer is in about eight and a half minutes or something, um, however long it takes for light to travel, that's the speed of causality, you know, light traveling in a vacuum, because that's, yeah, so that's, gravity waves travel that much, electromagnetic waves travel at that speed, everything travels at a speed in a vacuum, um, and that's just how it is, <laughs> so it's, uh, that's causality. Um, how you cause change to another thing in the universe and when you get to black holes what again was the idea is like when you go the event horizon which is the point where you know you just can't see through you don't know what's happening beyond that point that's where the idea is like the thinking time and space and whatever it is it breaks down so the idea of causality may not exist in there so you can go into one point of the black hole and exit out the other end if it happened and it um, it could be the equivalent of instantly just because you're broken down to your into even be, beyond subatomic particles. I mean, just you're broken down to nothingness, and then you're spit back out, and then in the other end, as if you, same way you came in. Then you know, if that let's say that event horizon is a a, a few light seconds across or a few light minutes across, and then it's <laughs> um, yeah, uh, then. Maybe again, that's just you know, kind of the concept of like a wormhole is like you get that idea instead of it being a black hole where you go from one side to the other, now it's like it's the connected via whatever, so now it's a wormhole. And it's the reason why you don't violate causality is that you're not communicating through the universe, so you're just basically coming out of existence and then coming back into existence, hence the idea of teleportation. Um, you know, you're you don't exist in the universe, and you exist in the universe in another position, so. Um, and if that can work for space, and it can also, let, maybe it can also work with time, where if you set a point, and then they only exist, then this exit only exists at a certain point in time in the universe, yeah, in that specific place or that specific time. And so when you enter into it, you, you get kicked out in that other location at that other time. You know, who knows? Um, yeah. But you're talking. You're probably just talking about stuff that's not going to exist in someone's microwave. That's the thing. <laughs> it just, that's the goofy part. It's kind of like, you know, it's like the, there was a Far Side cartoon where it's like uh, Ugg and Thug on their time travel log. It, no, you're not going to have cavemen invent time travel. It's not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, you're not going to have guys with a microwave create time travel. It's just not going to happen. Um... <laughs> you make a I know it's a Saturday um, I think I have to quit because I have to go have lunch so I'll tell you what I'm just gonna call that a day yeah it's a very short broadcast um, but it was fun like I said I read the news at the beginning part it's about a took about 40 minutes it's um looking like that's the length of time it is for this particular show now that I've kind of gotten used to some of the names and some of the stuff they're talking about it yeah I gotta just basically slow it down to a crawl and look up the words but um, it's yeah it's fun it's you know what that's why you know same with the Full Metal Alchemist I was watching it I'm laughing I'm having fun 
and it's something I didn't really do all that much during Evangelion. It just wasn't that fun. Also, it wasn't too much fun during Death Note. It was a bit darker, I guess. Uh, maybe because I, you know, I didn't like the light character. He was a, you know, a psychopath. And even then, though, it ended on a bad note. Like the, up until the point where L was the protagonist, uh, living protagonist, and uh, it was enjoyable. After that, it just was. Eh. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm not a big fan of anime. As in, yeah, we well, gotta see every anime. But I'm a fan of stuff that's good. Like I'm not a fan of rap, but I like song rap. There are rap songs that I like. I'm not. A, big fan of country anymore, but there are country songs I like. Rock songs, there's rock songs I like. Um, dubstep, there are dubstep songs I like. It's not like, I'm not into a genre. I'm more into if it's good. Yeah, so good songs of a genre, I have no problem listening to it. Doesn't mean I'm going to listen to the entire genre. Same with anime. So, if it's good anime shows, I don't mind watching. I'm going to watch every other anime. Um, just because it's just not that in interesting. So, yeah, like I said, there's, I'm not being elitist or anything. It's just, okay, um, I just... Just find out that there's stuff that I like, and, I, and I'll watch it and enjoy it. Um, so I don't don't have a favorite actor. I don't have a favorite genre. I don't have a favorite, um, you know, kind of like I don't have a really have a favorite food. It's just hey, I like to eat food that's good. Uh, it goes on the same idea. So when this anime stuff ends, I'm sure there'll be other anime shows to watch. It's just but right now, I'll be after this, I'll be going and concentrating more on Japanese novels and uh, Japanese dramas. And that'll be for um, pretty much the end of my goal of reaching 50, 50, uh, show, 50 sections of these things. What's a good example? 50 series, how's that? Yeah, 50 series. I'm up to 20 series, so I'm, my goal is 50. So there you go. And slowly get to that. If I be more consistent, I would I probably would have been there last year if I was just more consistent when I had just started. You know, just doing like a couple hours a day every day. You know, you do the math, that's 700 hours, so in a year and a half, that's uh, well over, almost, um, that's like a thousand hours, a little over a thousand hours, you know, or 1,500 hours you go for two years, um, for a couple hours a day of reading. That's a good amount of reading, that's an amazing amount of reading, and it's something I haven't done, but it would have been great if I had done it at the time, but okay, again, I'm lazy and not consistent, that's me. Uh, I, but I still think the method works, I don't think there's that much wrong with the method, um, you're going to find people that are going to complain about it. But, you know what, they're just, they're probably just being, they're not being assholes, they're just kind of just being trollish, that's it. Um, there is merit to saying, hey, don't concentrate just on reading, you've got to practice the listening. But I'm saying, this part here, I'm using reading, but later on, I take this, I can take this show's audio and then listen to that, so that's the listening. But first I make it comprehensible by watching it and reading it. And then look at what I don't know. So now it's much more comprehensible for when I am doing it with just listening. And I'm more likely to listen to it if it's in my playlist and playing on loop. That's how I'm that's how I'm looking at it from now on. And I can do the same thing. I can play it on loop in uh, on the TV, which I, I'm doing with currently Keikon Deki Nai Toko. I've got that playing on loop. Um, because I'm currently studying the sentences fr from that. Then when I add in the next one, which is going to be Harry Potter, I'll be playing the audio of Harry Potter. Then when I add the videos from Rookies, I'll, I'll play, when I add the sentences from there, I'll play the, the show. So that's my listening. This part here is reading. And that's why I'm pausing, because I'm making sure I understand what I'm reading. And, and I, I wish these guys would, I hope they understand that. Like, and they're just being trollish. If they're being trollish, that's fine. You know, it's, 4chan, you expect that. If they literally believe the shit they're saying, that's a problem. You know, or worse is if someone reads what they're saying and believes what they're saying. That's even a worse problem. So, um, because again, this is just kind of like what you do with Anki doesn't mean you're doing that 24 hours a day. What you're doing, what I'm doing now, I don't do it 24 hours a day. You know, it, it is effective, it is fun. But I, yeah, I, I do understand like the listening. Am I listening to my weakest skill as far as the comprehension? You know, we're not talking speaking and writing here yet. We're just this talking. Of the, of the two, reading is much higher than my listening. And that's different from other people. Other people, their listening is much higher than their reading, like uh, George Tromley. Um, I probably read better than George Tromley does, for example, uh, just because I've read so much more than he has. 
um, but his level of Japanese is much farther beyond than mine is. And he, if he start, if he actually trained his reading, his reading would get much better faster because his his base Japanese level is that much higher. Um, but it's just not in his personality. So right now he's just playing through video games. That's all. But so his reading's going to get better that way. But I, I, I think if he did this and he said like his daughter's done it. Um, but she was doing it with English, with an English book. Like, reading to audio is just a fun way of reading. It's, you know, I, it's just something I recommend. And I probably did it to the extra step. Because she, she didn't have to pause, because, again, she already knows English. She just, it's just much more fun to read to audio, for example. Um, there was the other, the other kid who was the, the odd one. I shouldn't say kid. He's a young adult now. Um, the odd one's out, where he was saying he, he had, because of, um, he had a reading difficulty, uh, but he read the audio and that made it, it made the reading that much easier um, so I can understand that yeah so just read the audio and pause to look up what you don't know and I think you, you'll find that your level is just going to get better and better you know and you can base it on the amount that you've read the more you've read once you you know that first book your level is going to be amazing compared to when before you started reading that tenth book is going to be amazing compared to when you finished your first book and then that 20th book is going to be amazing compared to where you were at the 10th book all right just if you use those as your as your miniature milestones your mini milestones in every book you read you're going to notice you're going to be more and more improved you know as long as you're taking the time to read the audio and pause to look up what you don't know because by the 30th book you're not pausing as that much you know you just you're not you know much more so you got to read even more just to get the to, you know, and it's kind of cool that you'll actually be learning stuff passively without pausing because, again, you're learning stuff that's being explained to you um, because you're at, you, you start becoming, you start getting to that level. But, um, you know, you got to build up to that. And don't be afraid to crawl before you walk, before you jump on the bicycle. You know, you know yeah, <clears throat> it's just... Don't be afraid about that, but don't hold yourself back either. Don't try to feel like, oh, I gotta do this slowly, all the time. You gotta push, push, and try to get it faster and better. Don't be afraid about that part either. So, it's a balancing act. Don't. It's you gotta basically move at a pace that's at your level and and push just enough so that you're 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 testing yourself. You're strain. You're under a, a slight strain. You're making yourself uncomfortable. Slightly uncomfortable, so that. Now your brain wants to try to make it easier on you, so it, instead of it trying to comprehend it actively, it wants to comprehend it passively, so it puts it into the whatever that part of the brain is that can understand stuff quickly, the rapid comprehension aspect of uh, whatever your brain is, as opposed to the active comprehension, which uses up a lot more energy, but it's a lot more accurate. Okay, I'll call that a day. Thank you all very much. This is Nuke Marine. This is Let's Read Japanese. This was Steins Gate, and I'll be back tomorrow with episode probably four. So I might just do one episode on a weekend and whatnot, and then, um, yeah, do two episodes on the weekdays. We'll see how that goes. But, yeah, this has been fun. Thank you all very much.